Good morning, everybody. So here we are, Ecclesiastes 12, the last chapter as we talk about it. So let's uh, let's just talk about this. Um, here's this Ecclesiastes ends uh, as it begun with with a poem, and the poem is a reminder uh, that everything eventually comes to an end. Uh, there are ways of interpreting it that this is a, um, a poem about the body failing, um, that the sun and the light grow dark and the moon and the stars, that's the eyes dimming and and the, the housekeepers tremble and the strong men stoop, there's your legs and your arms failing and the women who grind stop working, there's your teeth going away. Um, that all of this is about your body um, as, as you get older and it's diminishing. There's another way of just interpreting this as the coming of the day of the Lord and, um, and, and the end of, end of all things. Um, and so it's, it's a reminder to us that things end. There is no guarantee that we will just continue going on just as we are right now. There is no guarantee that uh, things won't change, that our culture will uh, last forever, or that our um, our uh, ways of doing things will are permanent from now until the end of time. Um, this is a reminder that things come to an end, and that we should give thanks to God, um, because God uh, gave us this life, and so this life is what we have and giving thanks to God for that life breath that we have been given even as things come to an end uh, is 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 a good thing for us um, to remind us that uh, things are God's not ours uh, or kind of a call back there to uh, remember that you are on earth and God is in heaven um, so a reminder to us that we don't know how God is doing things, but we do know that God has given us this life. God has given us our breath, and so we can give thanks to God there. And not give, doing anything but giving thanks to God and living our life, that's pointless. Let us go to God in prayer. Glorious God, thank you. Thank you for letting us know that we are to live our lives, that you have given them to us as a blessing, and that we should take each moment as it comes, giving thanks to you and doing our best to do what you have commanded. Help us to look to you, to give thanks, and then to go out and live as people who are focused on God. We pray all this in Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit, and we pray that prayer Christ taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Shalom.